days hi you guys and welcome back to NKM just a quick video today to show you an unboxing of some plants that we're going to be using in some of our enclosures now some of these plants are going to be well, they're house plants so they're going to be uh, dotted around my little sanctuary room some are going around our house um, some are being used to grow for the edible flowers and the edible parts of the plant like this um, Felicia that you'll see shortly. How oh, pretty. Right, so yeah, let's get started. Now, these plants actually <coughs> have been sent to us by a lovely company. Freddy, out the way, Bobby. Come on. So, as I said before the dog really interrupted, is these plants have been sent to us uh, by a lovely company called Bioactive Herbs, and their page will be tagged in the, um, will be above, in the details section of this post. So please do check them out. They've got great quality plants. Stuff that, I like to get stuff that I can't get in my local reptile shops. And it's all about supporting local and supporting the homegrown. Right, so the first thing we have here is just a tub of springtails. Now these are a tiny, tiny little insect that um, basically just keep the good health of the soil really, keep it slightly aerated and mold free ideally. Now I had no idea these were all going to be in bags, so that'll be fun. In here, this is one of two of our Calicia reapens, which is a um, an edible form. Oh no no no! Okay. So this is one of two of the flowering plants that we ordered. That's not fair too well. But yeah, this is a Saxifraga to run. As you can see, there it comes. With some flowers, which hopefully it will um, maintain now it's out of the bag. And these flowers are actually edible for uh, our insects, for our live food, and for animals like our iguana and Rocky the painted wood turtle. So we actually have two of these. I'll get the other one out now. <sighs> so here is the second. Weird way to send plants, but I assume <coughs> the guys at Bioactive Herbs have worked it all out and they know the best way to do it. So, yeah, look at this one. This one's fed a little bit better. As you can see, there are loads of edible flowers for our guys, and they're overall quite a really nice, pretty plant. So these are going to grow on our um, on the window ledge in the kitchen. There. Now this is another one that I've really been looking forward to. We had uh, two pots of this a few years ago and I moved it outside stupidly and it died. So this is the Calicia Reapens that I was talking about before, it's in the Talandia family. <clears throat> A brilliant, brilliant plant. So it actually grows, you could pull one of these off. It will shoot its oh sorry it will shoot its own roots and grow its own into its own new plant. These are brilliant and this is actually guys edible for us too. So don't ever give it a miss. Now okay moving on this one's just going to be able to slide off. Now this is from the Drachenia species. You have to excuse my pronunciation. I've got to let the dog in. Right. Oh, got some soil everywhere. Lovely, lovely specimen. Brilliant soil as well. Proper, quite nice quality. Put that over 
there. And we'll move on to the next one, I believe. It's gonna be another Calicia. Ready. Please don't come in here. Sazu's on the floor, literally next to the bun. Is my boy the cockatiel. Boy Zazu. It's just another lovely, lovely quality Galicia. Absolutely beautiful. Not a single bad leaf on it. The soil's nice and wet. It's overflowing the pot. And I'm not going to eat some of this one like I did the last one. It's about me. Definitely had me feel with some dog. Pretty much anything. What else have we got here? Okay, this is another one. I think this is going to be the yellow, yellow coast or something it's called. Okay, look at that. Lovely, lovely. I'm going to leave this guy back in this pot. It's got a little bit of leaf damage, but they're very delicate down there near the stem. So yeah, this guy's gorgeous. It's going to be going in our iguana enclosure, I do believe. I can't exactly remember the full list of plants that we asked for. What's this one? Uh, keep wanting to cut the bags, but they are, should be good and reuse them really, shouldn't I? Sorry. Can't do it. Oh, wow. Wow. Now this one here is a species of philodendron, I do believe. It's absolutely stunning. Katie, if you see this, if you end up watching it, I bought this one as a present for you. Look how stunning these leaves are. Absolutely gorgeous. And I was wrong actually, it's not a um, philodendron. Mm, it's beautiful. It says it's a skin dap. This pictus. The more you know, eh? Uh -huh. Now, this is something I've been wanting for quite a while. There we go. Look at that. Wow, absolutely stunning. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Now, these are a bit smaller than I was expecting. But they're going to grow, I suppose. They're going to grow. And this is either the excellent or the. It actually hasn't even got a stick on it. So, yeah. Yeah, of course. This is one of the Kathleen, many, many Kathleen's that I've ordered. Absolutely stunning. Look at the quality of that. Look at the quality of these leaves. They look like they've been painted. Absolutely stunning. So, like, I'm, like I was saying, these plants are all from uh, Bioactive Herbs. You can find them on Facebook. See, oh. oh, absolutely stunning. The purples on the back of these, the camera's just not doing it justice. I'm having to film it on the front camera so I can see what's actually being filmed. But the greens and the, oh, wow. This is stunning. This is the Cathalia Gandirzi. Now, I actually studied plant science at university, I'm in my second year, and my professors and lecturers tell me I have the worst plant pronunciation out of the whole group. So, doing well. <laughs> I try my best, please believe me. And for everyone that's gonna say, shazzle, everyone that's gonna say about me reusing these bags, I'm actually gonna reuse them 
uh, some wine. Maybe picking up the goblins. Oh, look at this. This is stunning. This is stunning. Now, I'm not saying we got any special treatment from these guys at all, but I'd love to think that they picked this because this is a nice specimen, man. Wow. Just the, the volume of leaves, the quantity of leaves and stems in such a small area. Yeah. Big props to their growers, man. Big props. So, that is it for box number one. Just to have a quick summary. We've had this tall yellow coast back here. We've had the skin dapsus pictus, which is gorgeous. We've had these flowering ones, which I can't remember the name of. We've had two types of the Calicia repens, some springtails. This is the um, uh, Summit Excellente. We've had oh, another family. Let's carry this story on. And we've had three gorgeous Caplias. Actually, yeah. Is this one a Caplia too? Yeah. So look at these. Woo -hoo -hoo. So, you get them all spread aside. Because we have another box. Yes, this way up, so I believe we should keep it this way up. Oh, I can't stand up for this one. Back's killing me. Well, we that. So to summarise guys, look at these luscious plants. Cannot rate or recommend Zazun, please. Uh, bioactive herbs any higher Louise and Taryn these are some gorgeous plants we have the uh, Pictus Calicia let me check what this one was called oh yeah the Turan more Calicia uh, Drachnia species the excellent plant some Cafleas more Cafleas the Pophos poles this one back here absolutely stunning so yeah and this um Sansevieria in the back guys, which wasn't from them. It's actually 21 years old, nearly 22 years old. Living living life. So yeah, I'd just like to say huge, huge thank you to Bioactive Herbs again for getting this order out to us real quickly actually. And we'll update everyone once we get the plants dotted around the house and in the enclosures.